Dan on The Rock Show. I'm going to get this uh, very beautiful man to introduce himself. Hello, my name is Christian, everybody. Nice to meet you, I am Mickey Mouse! <laughs> and uh, I understand that you might be with El Nino. I might be. You might be. Only on days that they are really good. <laughs> if they sucked last night, I wasn't with them, it wasn't me. But if you're good tonight, <laughs> then it's you. If the show is good tonight, yeah, I'm in the band. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were just saying that uh, England so far is treating you quite well. We actually have the sun out. It's yeah, quite nice. It's a beautiful, beautiful British day. Yeah. All over the world, it's a beautiful British day. <laughs> well, that's no, what yeah, we It's think. an awesome day, man. I woke up, the sun was out, it was warm. I don't really even need this jacket. I have it on because I was expecting it to be a little colder when I came out of the venue. Yeah, as but soon it's as the same sun goes, as it was before. As soon as it goes, it gets chilly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. completely gone. So, away from the weather, how is England treating you so far? Oh, the shows have been awesome so far, man. All the fans have been great and. It's been uh, it's been a bunch of fun seeing some people that we haven't seen in a very long time. You know, a lot of people kind of forgot about us, or you know, uh, are living life, doing their thing. You know, and haven't yeah. been to shows in a long time. And it's fun to see uh, to see some people come back, and you know, and to to have like that fifteen years of brotherhood. Yeah, you know, kind of present within within us without even talking to fans. You know, there always seems to be like this really cool brotherhood. So, I mean, I'm just psyched to be out here, man. The bands are awesome. Yeah. Inside is awesome. Like the Morph, Mad Life, Extoria. I mean, all the bands are really good. Fair play. Because, I mean, um, we uh, always say about you guys is that um, you're, in many ways, a bit beyond your times with uh, um, the sound. Like, it was, um, it's something that's really matured well over the years. Like, and uh, as you say, people are now getting back into it, realizing that right, right. you've been doing this sound for a long time. And I'm quite happy because... Uh, um, and like I said, I've been back into you guys since back in the day, and now uh, you're exploding. It's like, finally, everybody realizes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Some of the songs I would definitely say maybe were ahead of their time, because they make more sense now than they did before. Yeah. Um, and I know back then people were categorizing it for different things, but I just, you know, I'm just grateful to have been in a band that we were trying to do some different things, and they still, if they still make sense 15 years later, man... I can't complain, you know. That's the thing we, is, we must have been doing something cool, or we must have been on drugs enough to do something cool. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys are one of the bands that, in the 15 years, have watched the industry change a lot. Um, yeah, yeah. And because uh, it's what we uh, talked to you guys about last time. It's really lovely watching a band that you know got a taste of uh, what the previous industry was like, but then just are hard working these days, put a lot of time and effort in. You guys are passionate, you know. That's what shows in what you do. I mean, I'm definitely very grateful that we came out when we did. Um, you know, we were one of the lucky bands that came out right before the cusp of literally the music industry taking a shit. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, and it's very difficult for bands nowadays to really, you know, break through the ice and really come out. And you know, it's a lot of album releases, and you know, most records don't even go heard by fans. You know, and um, and it sucks. I mean, the music industry is tough nowadays. The bands that are really, really good can break through, but it takes a lot of a lot of diversity, you know, a lot of maturity and a lot of drive. You, yeah. know, you have to be really into it and really be able to sacrifice everything or be willing to sacrifice everything in your life for the music. Yeah. And back in the day, it, it, it was like that, but, you know, there was still a little bit of money in it, you know, and it was okay, but um, and, and we were lucky we came out then, you know, and we were able to put out an album and that, w- that can at least remain some some kind of timeless you know. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm one of those ones that still listens to the ones from back in the day as well as, as, well as the ones now. Cause right on. It reminds me of that era when uh, you know it was uh, you had platinum selling albums and bands were actually like sort of uh, able to go a bit nuts and stuff like that. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I say these days is the, uh, the industry was thriving back then for sure. You know? It really was. Yeah, I miss those days in some ways. Um, but what are you guys up to now? What have you been up to the last couple of months before uh, coming across to see us? Uh, I've been doing things that really no singer in a band probably would be doing. I, I bought a house and renovated the whole thing pretty much by myself. Sick. Okay. Um, you know, to build equity, to try to try to keep the money growing, <laughs> keeping you alive, however. Um, other than that, man, I, literally my life the last three months has been that. It's really? been purchase of a property and a complete home renovation. I mean, I used to work construction before I was in a band, so... Oh, sick. 
I put some of the skills to work and some of the things were way over my head, but some of them I did really good. So <laughs> it was fun, you know. I can't I can't complain, man. It was it's almost like tour is like a vacation compared to that. I was doing like twelve, fourteen hours a day of constant labor, just you know, demoing floors, putting in floors, demoing walls, putting in walls, you know, everything. I can imagine but, like, um, releasing some energy on stage is what you were itching to do. In, like, uh, probably, man. I, yeah, probably. You're probably <laughs> right. I know I fucked up my elbow and my knee doing that goddamn thing. <laughs> but now I'm like, it'll be fine. Once I get on tour, my elbow and knee will be fine. Are you doing like a throw down with a limp now? And, like, sort of... No, no, no. Luckily not. Not yet, man. <laughs> not yet. Those were the days. Is uh, I remember one guy like injured himself just before tour. I can't remember which band it was, but he did the whole tour in a wheelchair. Um, oh wow! And like, but the thing was, is that everybody just cheered as soon as he came out in the wheelchair because he was actually still there. Do you know what I mean? That's awesome. Yeah. So you never know if you do end up fucking the knee up so badly, then just do a wheelchair tour. It'll be fine. I don't think yeah. anybody would mind. I don't, I don't know that. Uh my family wouldn't like to. My mom would be like, "You're not going to do in no wheelchair." <laughs> She'd probably be way too worried about me, but no, nothing like that, man. Just you know, been, been just real. fucked up my elbow and my knee. That's it. That's, it. That's all that is. Are you going back? Not to letting it show on stage, though. Ah, well, <laughs> you know, keep up appearances, right? Right, right, man. That's the most important thing. <laughs> Are you Who gives a shit what I think about my elbow and my knee, man? You know, you gotta. I'm here for a show, dude. That's the main reason I'm here. And that's I a, literally, I'm here for a show in the coffee. That's it. Maybe do we, the do we do coffee well? Oh, very good. That's good to know. I mean, I had uh, some instant English coffee that was awesome. I was like, fuck, this shit is good. Well, you like the instant stuff? It was good. It was what they put in the dressing room. I tried it and it was, even, it was good. I couldn't complain. Yeah, because we normally get complaints about our coffee. So what's this like, spoonful of uh, stuff, like just pour hot water in? Because I know you guys just do the filter stuff like most of the time. Yeah, right? we usually get the fancy coffee. And in Europe, you know, they got the good espresso and shit like that. But I don't know. It was like the only instant coffee I've ever thought was awesome. <laughs> It was called whatever, Americano, a little tin can like that, round tin can. I think good. I got the same thing from the festival that's just out. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's possible. It's got to be done. got to be done. So are you going back to the house after this, or is it like a band-focused summer for you? Uh, we still got like another four weeks on the tour. It's a pretty long tour. It's almost like a two-month run. And then, you know, then I'll probably go back to the house. We got some shows in the summer. Uh, we're coming back for Hellfest. Okay. And we'll probably have some, I don't know, 10 to 12 shows around that festival. Um, we'll probably go home and be home for like a month or something like that. Sounds I'll get like to go home balance. and you know, spend time with the family and finish up some things I left unfinished. And, and um, probably fuck my other knee up and my other elbow. And then I'll take a vacation when I go back on tour for the Hellfest. So if I see you in like knee pads and elbow pads. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's how I would fucking come out on stage with a helmet, knee pads. <laughs> Is the only way that the mom would let you on tour? <laughs> Don't hurt yourself anymore. <laughs> Fantastic. Are you guys um, like sort of uh, thinking about writing at all at the moment, or is uh, that not? Oh, there? definitely. I mean, I know we're all excited to begin the writing process. We haven't yet. We have some ideas thrown around, things like that, but we haven't like started gelling ideas together. Okay. But, do you guys uh, do it on the road at all, or is it more something for when you're back home and you're not on the road uh, that you guys write? Because everybody's a bit different. Some people love riding on the tour bus. Other people can't do double duty and they have to go home and put all their energy into it. Yeah, I mean, we've tried it. We've done some writing on tour buses, but it never works out. You know, I mean, you kind of need to be in a room and playing loud and, you know, just... Or in a studio, in a proper environment, you know, experimenting and things like that. Yeah, yeah. It's not a... I mean, I suppose it depends what kind of music, if, you know, if... You just want to write a simple song. I suppose you could do it in your tour bus, and then I guess creativity could spark at any moment. You just mm. write a song, but on the road, it's uh, you know you get into this mental state of going to bed really late, and by the time you wake up, the sun is almost gone, and then you're looking for a bathroom, and then you just want to get the things in the venue, and then you got to do sound check. By the time you do sound check, you just want like a um, an hour to clear your head, you know, and focus on the it's show. It's not yeah. even the right atmosphere, if you ask me. But some people can do it. But it's uh, I don't know. The, the guys in my band, I don't think, can write on the road. <laughs> that's not a bad thing, though. I mean, like I say, everybody's a bit different, and if that's what works for you guys, I mean, I think it shows in the music that you guys write. I'm, a, as I said, massive fan. Um, and if you guys got to take some time off to do it, then fair play. You guys come up with the right stuff doing that. So um, thank, you, thank you. Yeah. So. I don't want to gush at you too much because, uh, you know, that's always an embarrassing interview to do. <laughs> no way, dude. Come on. <laughs> Come but, on. 
given that uh, you, uh, I'm on the run-up, I'm going to cut it short there. I could literally witter away to you for probably hours. So I'm just going to thank you for a couple of minutes. Uh, right on. Set you on your way. No, I can't wait for later. It's been a couple of years for me. Well, so. well we can hang after the show, for sure. Oh, hell if yeah. If you're sticking around, you know. Hell yeah. I don't huh? think we're going anywhere right after the show, but, you know, usually we're all around and just, like, you know, trying to see who the hardcore fans are and if they want to meet us we're pretty accessible so we'll be hanging out after the show for sure sick well I'll definitely hang around and uh, probably scream like a girl whilst you guys are playing so uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll nice be on one. stage screaming like a girl fantastic <laughs> somebody's doing it with me <laughs> anyway nice one dude thank you very much right on man thank you brother cheers